BTK inhibitors clearly are the, the drugs of the moment. Abrutinib showing phenomenal response. And of course, it's not a surprise if you've got one drug of a certain class, there are subsequent drugs of the same class coming. There's data at ASH this year with a, uh, the Chinese um, BTK inhibitor uh, showing broadly the same activity as abrutinib. There's also the first ever data from a, uh, an American BTK inhibitor a certain farmer's drug in the context of CLL, which looks phenomenal. And I've been involved in some of those trials and also I've been involved in the Japanese BTK inhibitors. So there are a number of these drugs. The second generation ones, um, so the next step from abrutinib, all look similar. Um, whether they're better or not, it's difficult to say because it's relatively early. From what we've seen so far, they might have a slightly better side effect profile. Um, less bruising and bleeding, maybe fewer cardiac events, but I think you've got to have patients on these drugs, drugs for longer before we can be clear about that. Um, I think it's good that we've got more drugs coming. Um, hopefully one or two or a few of them will get licensed and then we'll uh, almost certainly have some kind of price war because the, 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 the cost of these drugs are, are significant. It's nice to see them cheaper so that they're more available um, across, the, across the piece. Combinations are clearly the way things are going, and in, in mantle cell, uh, addition of antibodies seems to be beneficial. That's what we're going to test in our frontline study. And there, then there are other drugs as well. Perhaps the most promising is uh, ABT199. This is a BCL2 inhibitor. And that combination with abrutinib, that's not been presented here, but that looks extremely exciting. And I would imagine if we're sitting here next year, almost certainly in two years, you're going to see some some uh, some interesting combination data. But uh, the backbone's gonna be BTK inhibitor. Um, from my perspective, I wanna see chemotherapy disappear. Th th there are a lot of trials adding these drugs to chemotherapy. I, I don't see the benefit of that. I would rather take it away, maybe add an antibody, maybe, particularly in elderly patients, add nothing at all, just use a single agent. I mean, you would have discussed the CLL Resonate 2 data. Single agent ibrutinib front line, I mean, that's about as good as it gets. And uh, there's nothing added to that. So in CLL, maybe you don't need anything at all. Lymphoma might be slightly different, but I think offers a real opportunity to, to take things away and just go with a, with a simple oral therapy.